hi and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to teach you guys about the free artos real-time operating system specifically for stm32 microcontrollers my name is ali and you are watching cghq a real-time operating system is essentially a software that manages hardware resources for time-critical tasks. Unlike regular operating system, an RTOS is designed to respond to events within strict timing constraints. The reason why you should use a real-time operating system is because it enables efficient multitasking and it is essential for embedded systems where timing and predictability is crucial. A real-time operating system allows the running of multiple threads or tasks on a single CPU. Although only one task can execute at any given time, the processor switches between these tasks rapidly. This happens really fast so it looks like the tasks are being executed simultaneously. This process of switching between threads by saving the state of one task and loading another task is called context switching. Each task can be assigned a priority level where higher priority tasks can interrupt lower priority tasks to meet strict timing requirement. For example, if task 2 with a low priority is currently running, task 1 with a higher priority can preempt it if a critical condition arises. Then once task 1 has been completed, the scheduler which is responsible for task switching is going to return back to task number two. Free RTOS is a widely used open source RTOS optimized specifically for embedded systems because it provides rich task management, timing and synchronization features. So STM32 microcontrollers come with CMSS RTOS which is basically a wrapper for real-time operating systems integration. This allows free RTOS to be easily implemented using the STM32 Cube IDE. To get started with coding, open up STM32 Cube IDE and click on create a new STM32 project. Then go to board selector and type in the part number of the microcontroller that you have and then click on the microcontroller and click on next. For the project name, you can just call it Artos and then click on finish. Go here where it says middleware and software and then click where it says free Artos. And then here where it says disable, click on CMSS V2. We're just going to leave these settings as they are. You just need to make sure that use preemption has been enabled. This will allow our scheduler to switch in between the two different tasks that we're going to create. And then click here where it says tasks and queues. And then you see we already have our first uh, task created for us. So just double click on the task and then we can change the name to LED1. And then we're going to change the name of the entry function to start LED1. And then it comes to the priority, we're just going to leave it as the default OS priority the normal os priority level and then we can we're gonna click on ok then we're gonna go back to tasks to create task number two because if you only demonstrate this using one task it's only just going to be one infinite loop we're not going to be able to see multiple tasks being executed at the same time so to add a second task just click on the add button and then here it says task name we'll call this one led2 and then we're going to set the priority for this one to priority below normal so that it has a lower priority than the first task that we created and then another thing here where it says entry function we're going to uh, label this one as start led2 and then we're going to click on ok and then before we can continue to the second section we need to come here where it says timers so that we can see all the available timers that we have on our microcontroller and then we're going to come here to system core and then click on where it says system and then here where it says time base source it says sysTIG. We're not going to use the sysTIG because we're not going to be using our HAL library. We're going to be using the CMSS RTOS library instead. So we can use a timer that has lower significance than the sysTIG. So we can just, for this purpose of this demonstration, we can just use timer number seven. We're going to use two LEDs for the two tasks that we just created. So we're basically going to toggle two different LEDs at two different rates. You can just connect two LEDs to any two pins of your microcontroller. You just need to initialize those two pins as GPIO output. I'm just going to initialize PB6 as GPIO output. And I'm going to initialize PA8 as a GPIO output as well. Then when this is done, just click on Ctrl and S to save, click yes to generate code and yes to switch to the new perspective. You don't really need to worry about this warning for now, so just click on yes to generate the code. Unlike the normal projects we've been creating throughout the STM32 series on the channel, we now have a middleware folder on the left hand side here. And if we extend that folder, we can see that we have a free Artos resource folder here. On the main C file, if we scroll down here, we can see that we have definitions for the two tasks that we've just created. So each thread 
or each task that we created is going to have a name a stack size and a priority level this line of code here is basically to initialize the operating system kernel for the uh, real-time operating system and then when we scroll further down we see a function that starts the scheduler so once this function has been called the real-time operating system has taken control of our program which means beyond this point we should not add any code because it would not be accessible because the real-time operating system is the one that will be taking control of the system which means uh, we shouldn't even put any code in this main while loop we need to scroll all the way down here to the start function for the first task that we created for the led one we're going to just toggle the led so we're going to say hal underscore gpio underscore t and then we're going to hold on control and click on space for auto completion and then we're going to say gpio b and then pin underscore six we're going to use always delay instead of hal delay because we are using the real-time operating systems library instead of the hal library so i'm just going to toggle this one every 500 milliseconds and then when we scroll down we see the start function for the second thread or the second task that we created so we are basically going to do the same thing here we're going to say hal underscore gpio underscore t and then hold on control and space for auto completion and then this one is going to be gpio a and then pin underscore eight this one we can toggle it slightly uh, faster than the previous one so we can just set this to 215 milliseconds and then we can click on this uh, green button that says run to upload the code to the microcontroller great once the code has been uploaded to the microcontroller you can see the real-time operating system uh, working on our microcontroller we can see the two leds from the two tasks that we've just created being toggled uh, simultaneously but they're being toggled at different rates if you enjoyed the content or if you have any feedback or any questions please let me know in the comment section below also if you'd like to help the channel grow there's a donations link that i've listed in the description section below thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe for more tech and electronics content